All right, guys. Um, I promised to show you guys how I go into Edit Player on PC. So if you're on PC, I'm going to show you how I do this for the WNBA. Um, so if you have Lemnono Trainer and you guys can just Google that, Google Lemnono Trainer 2K20, and links will pop up. Um, have Lemnono Trainer installed. You just go to a roster, click Insert and make sure you have the make sure you have a uh, this initialize but then you also want to go to unlock in-game editor all right so what that will do and press insert to remove that what that will do will give you the option to um edit players now i need to go back to the i need to find a player so i know carly samuelson what I'm going to show you is she has a created player face. So today I'm going to upload her player DNA to the DNA share. Go to edit player. And but you can only use her on the WNBA side like her, her face. You'll be able to change her name or whatever you want. Actually, I'm just going to change the name to something else. Let's see. I'll just change it to w for well this will be a caucasian female so w for like white and then f for female and then um i don't know what hair this is since i can't actually manually assign female hair right now i think i found a way to do it but i haven't tested it yet i'm going to just say ponytail blonde I guess I could have just named her first name Ponytail, last name Blonde. But anyway, all right, Ponytail Blonde. There we go. And um, so now I'm just going to go down and export player DNA. And um, I'm going to share this so that you guys can look this up. Save and share. And I'll say female. Ponytail Blonde. Okay. So now you guys will be able to look this up if you're on PC. Upload is complete. So this is how I'm gonna have to export hair for female caps. So this is this is just the beginning stages of how we'll be able to uh you know carry out multiple seasons in WNBA so like we're going to use her as a template for one of the rookies since that's a creative player face and so let me see if I can find another player with the creative player face um actually if I go down to the lower rated players it should be a ton of them So, yeah, like this is a creative player face also. Let's find somebody else. It's creative player face. All right, so, uh, let me see. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying to find, here we go. I like this hair. So this player is not gonna show up in edit player because of the jersey. The jersey is actually meant for a man. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to immediate. I got to rename her. So I, I know I'll just name her female. Female. It doesn't matter what I name her. Female. All right. So then I'm just going to back out and export this player DNA. Save and share. Then I'll do female curly brunette. All right, so I'm going to just remove changes. That doesn't matter. But let's say I was at the end of this season and I wanted to replace. Hmm, 
me see. Not Epiphany. Well, she has a creative player face too, so I'm gonna have to find all these ladies with creative player faces. Let me see if I can find an older player that is not good that I want to replace. Any player for that matter. Usually the older players are pretty decent. I'm gonna go right here. Oh man, dude. No, oh, they in the all right, here we go. So Shay Petty, she has a creative player face too. So if I was just like wanting to get rid of her, I could actually just change her name. But if you import those female player DNAs that I just um, that just loaded up, so female, let's let's just search for it. Search by content name, type female, and then. The two that I just uploaded, if you're on PC, should come up at the bottom here. So we're gonna use the curly brunette. We'll just import, um, we can import everything. Let's see what happens. All right, so there she is, she comes up. Now it should allow me to edit her appearance. Do not edit the hair when you edit appearance. Do not edit the hair. It's the one thing you don't wanna change. So we'll go to like cheeks. Uh, I don't know. We'll just pick any cheek and then we'll need the chin. We'll edit the chin. There we go. Now she's looking better. All right. Then I'll go back up to eyes and change the eyes around. Now I can't edit the eyebrows or the hair to be a, a different looking female so I just have to keep um, finding more female creative players anyway so I can change the skin tone also if I want to and there we go so this is how you can make new rookies and then I'm just gonna select that and be done with it I can name her whatever I wanted to. And then I'd be done with it. I could edit her face even more if I wanted to, just not the hair and eyebrows. I mean, you can't edit eyebrows, but they won't look feminine. But the hair, do not touch the hair. All right. Okay. So at this point, you would be done. You would just rename it, make sure the years play show zero. You want this person to be a rookie or whatever. So that would be it. Um, and somebody wanted me to show off female um the female jump shots but as far as i know you can look at all the female jump shots on the regular uh edit player for men i think oh let me see if it yeah yeah because you can use male jump shots for females also but I'll do a, a different video where I go through individual, like the superstars and their jump shots of the WNBA. I'll do that, but go back to the beginning of the video if you wanna figure out how to get into this edit player menu. I showed you that at the beginning. Uh, that's all I have for this video. Um, thank you guys for rocking with me. I'll continue to put out more and more content. Thank you guys. All right, I'm gone.